I'm super excited for today's Code Stories. We're talking with Zaid Zain, a Microsoft MVP who recently emigrated from Syria to Germany. He's a student and he's bringing history to life. Let's see what he has to say. Hello, Zaid. It's so good to see you, my friend. For those that don't know you, why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself? Hello, Seth. Thank you very much for having me in this Code Story episode. My name is Zaid Zaim. I am a Microsoft MVP for Windows development. In full time, I'm a student. In my spare time, I also conduct uh, workshops on mixed reality. I'm originally from Damascus. It's the capital of Syria. I needed to move to Germany to flee my country because of the war in Syria. That is since 2011. And many cities in Syria are under the UNESCO World Heritage Site, so ancient cities that we need to keep alive. You actually built a mixed reality for cultural heritage app. Tell us about that. When I was a child, I had the chance to visit the city of Palmyra, an ancient site, a Roman site that dates back around 4,000 years. This was a very inspiring moment to me. When I came to Germany, I thought then, okay, how can I merge my personal experience with the newly learned skills in mixed reality and hololens to create historical awareness, to visualize the historical monuments, and through the different interaction possibilities, the viewer at least can say, we want to keep these monuments alive. Okay, you told me a lot of amazing things. I feel like I want to see how this actually works. Can you show us a little bit of how the software works? So here we have uh, the HoloLens, the mixed reality device by Microsoft. It has uh, different uh, 3D sensors, depth sensors on the surface that it can capture the real world. And mixed reality means to integrate the digital content into the physical world. Allow me here to share my screen. So here I already opened the Unity 3D project. Unity allows you to develop for virtual reality, augmented reality, and mixed reality. So we have here on the left side, we have the hierarchy. It contains all objects that actually what we want to see later in, in our application. So for the setup of the project, we already imported the Mixed Reality Open Source project by Microsoft. The Mixed Reality Toolkit allows developers, designers, and tech-interested people to get easily onboarded for developing simple apps for Mixed Reality and the HoloLens. Okay, so when we integrated the Mixed Reality Toolkit, we can see the different components that we can control and adjust. We have here, for example, the camera. When we enable it, then we get the virtual representation of the user in Unity. Here we have the input system. We have spatial awareness. If we activate this, then the whole lens could scan the real world and then allows us to project different 3D content, integrating them into the physical world. So here, the mixed reality play space, it's represented as a, as a camera, this represents the user's vision in the project. So basically the toolkit integrates with Unity so that you can interact with the mixed reality HoloLens. That's how it plugs together. And then you'd build on top of that. Yeah, exactly. So here actually the app is working. So when we press on space, you see here then directly the simulated hand in 3D that then represents actually your human hand. So here we have two panels. When we interact with the first button, we get our globe uh, referencing in, on Syria. Then we get a 3D uh, model of, uh, of, of the Syria map. Here we can activate the ancient Palmyra. We get a 3D representation of the map. And then the different monuments here. We see the Ark of Triumph, the Temple of Baal Shamin. When we gaze on the monument, you look 
on the 3D object, then it does something else. So here, for example, there is a simple script attached to it that makes the monument float and then makes then to the end user clear, okay, I am interactable. And then actually, when you developed all the interactions that you want to have, then would be now, for example, the next step, stop the play mode and then go to build settings choose Universal Windows Platform, and then build the solution, and later on deploy the Visual Studio solution to the HoloLens. That's really cool. So I put the HoloLens on, and basically these maps overlay reality, and you can go ahead and pick the things that you want to actually do. Is that right? Exactly. So actually, we're here, we turn it on, we have the application running. Then, now the cool part, so we saw, for example, the, the Arc of Triumph. Also, the HoloLens 2 has hand tracking technology that allows you to interact with the monuments, and then place them anywhere as if you are interacting with real objects. We have a timeline. When you interact with this timeline, you see the evolution of the monument. So from the construction till its destruction in the war in Syria. Another cool uh, aspect in here is um, that you can scale the monument, make it, for example, so big that it fits into your room. In this case, you can go inside of the monument, have a look on the different um, ornaments on the different decorations that we built in that reflect the beauty of the monument and could uh, give the user, for example, um, a feeling of beauty. When we jump into the Temple of Baal Shamin, another monument that we visualized, we are able, again, to scale the monument, view it from different perspectives. You can interact with it haptically, for example, get a feeling how it is, and also having a deep impression on the beauty of the monuments by having a look on the ornaments, on the decorations, that also tells you the history of this wonderful artifact. Then. We have, for example, another button that shows you that you can interact with, that then you can create the state of the destruction. So virtually, you can then destroy it, and then you will be an active person bringing this monument back to life in, in terms of grabbing, for example, interactable stones and really positioning them in their original places. The other one is, for example, you can get a story told from a person, for example, from Palmyra. So for simulating this, I created a 3D character of, out of myself. And here, the idea is we want in the future to, uh, to implement people as 3D characters from Palmyra who could tell the history about these monuments and tell us about their experience what they were feeling, for example, when they visited this particular monument. Because such experiences we cannot find in any Wikipedia or any article in the internet or maybe in a book, okay? But having this 3D effect, having this similar to a conversation, this is also another point of interaction and keeping the history of Palmyra or other sites alive. This is so cool for me because I, I love history and being able to, to actually see and get a sense of volume and a place is, is actually really cool. How long have you been working on this? Tell us about the experience you had to get to this place. In 2017, I joined the Ready School of Digital Integration. This is an NGO in Berlin that supports newcomers and refugees learn quality skills in tech and get the possibility to work in the IT job market. I had the chance to meet uh, Matthias. 
He's a cloud solution architect at Microsoft who invited me to join him with other Ready students going to the IoT hackathon in Berlin in 2018. At that time, I really did not know what is a HoloLens, so I had the chance to work with a team of experts who are really into the tech uh, of mixed reality and the HoloLens. Having a look in our galaxy directly in your living room, this is actually really awesome. And at the beginning, I was not able to imagine this. So this was to me the big game changers in terms of networking, meeting new people, and learn the first steps, how to develop a first app for the HoloLens. Do you have any words to say to people who are like, wow, this is so cool. I want to do mixed reality. I want to learn how to use the MRTK. Any final words for them? If you have an idea, really go with it, tackle it, and just give it a try. And this way you can bring your ideas, your dreams to life by, for example, having a look on the Microsoft Learn platform, going through the different uh, tutorials on the HoloLens, on mixed reality, and always go to hackathons, to meetups, and connect with others. I'm a huge fan of this work. If people want to contribute, or want to join the team, is that possible? Of course, people were joining us on this voluntarily and also joining from the, the meetups and the talks I've been presenting the project in. The project is now open source on GitHub. Everyone who is interested in this topic, cultural heritage and mixed reality, HoloLens, is more than welcome to join us on this journey. What's next for you and what's next for the project? I hope to create a platform bringing cultural heritage in mixed reality back to life and motivating people more about mixed reality and HoloLens. Well, Zaid, it's been a pleasure for me uh, to learn from you. Thank you so much for your time, bud. Thank you very much for having me, Seth. By developing a mixed reality prototype, Zaid has found a way to bring his past into his present and actually make a future with mixed reality. This is pretty amazing, being able to understand technology, to be able to know and see actual history I'm inspired by it. Hopefully you're inspired too to see what you can come up with to make the world a better place like Zaid has. Thank you for watching and this has been another Code Stories.